Second. I need the motion. motion. You made a motion? Second. Okay, all in favor, Mr. DeRoss? Yes. Ms. Valley? Yes. Ms. Ashton, say yes. I want to welcome everyone to today's working session of the Rockland Board of Sewer Commissioners. The agenda listings are those matters reasonably anticipated by the chair that may be discussed for the meeting. Now, all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permissible by law. Uh, we have no new minutes to approve. So with that, I will go to Mr. Wee James Wheeler, 48 Carey Street. Uh, Mr. Wheeler has proposed a single family which we previously approved. He's now going to go forward with the duplex. Um, the duplex is four bedrooms. Uh, it just meets the 440 gallon moratorium fee um, level. Um, and I see no reason not to allow him to connect that. We would be consistent with everything else we've done. Did we see plans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've seen the plans again. We've seen the plans. Okay. Have an individual I, I saw the other side. Yeah, that, you know, that side. I, I marked the clean ups. And I said, it came out a little darker than I wanted. They sent this. They sent it to us. <laughs> Connects an independent stub from the single family unit. But basically, a new connection. And this has a new address as well, yes? Yeah, that's going to be, um, I haven't got, the, haven't got the address yet. Right now it's, right now it's lot two of the plan for 48 Carey Street. I did, I did uh, record the plan, but I haven't got the house, the house numbers yet. Okay. It's going to be called Tell Yeah. Yep. No, no, it's going to be called Carey Street, right? but yes. it's going to be. It was a single family. The first one will probably be 48, and then there'll be like 50 something okay. or 60 something. Where's the fi single Where family? family? The single family is right here. Oh, oh, I don't see it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I have it right here. We've already seen the drawing. Okay. We approved okay. that. Okay. I have it right here. Uh, I'm already harassing you. Right. Well, I'm prepared. Okay. Just uh, the plan. No, I've already seen this. No, you haven't seen this. That's a plan of it. Just a simple little. You know, everybody builds two, two big of money houses. I'm just going to do a simple little raised ranch. And I'm not going to finish the basement. I'm going to put the plumbing down here. A little simple. We did it. People make houses but too. But you're still using it, yeah. Okay. People make houses too expensive nowadays. My daughter just bought one. Oh, yeah. Oh, a raised ranch. Okay. Yeah, that was one of those bosses. Huh? One of those. Okay. Do we have any questions on, on, oh, oh, on this lot here? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion. We approve the lot for the duplex on Carey Street. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, Mr. DeRoss? Yes. Ms. Valley? Yes. And Mr. Hessian is a yes. Yeah, you shall have done the piece of land also. Well, I was going to talk to the town but, uh, about some we'll of this, but the town and, 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 and not me, it fell, fell, the okay. trucks fell apart. So <clears throat> I st they still may get the, the last piece here. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I'd have to go to the Board of Appeals. They'd have to give me uh, some relief from the size of the lot. So, Jim, what I do, what I'll do next is I'll have that um, typed up. Um, I'll send you an email with it on the fees, uh, formal fees. Uh, and on it, it's going to say what they put on the draft. I just want to make sure, Chuck, that it doesn't, uh, that doesn't include that new fee. That no, it does not. Okay. What, okay. what it's all, it's not going to include the 661. You will be charged for maintenance fee. What's that for? That is just the I. But that is, is that. For, that's for lot one. You were, no, that's for lot two. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That lot one you weren't because you are having right. stuff. Right. And, and then. And we're not charging you to six sixty one a gallon. That, that would, okay. Okay. So the maintenance fee. That's uh. That's that. Yep. That's a fee you added a while ago. Right? That's a fee we had that's, to have to cover for that. Yeah, that's, I, that's the twenty dollars has been on there. Twenty dollars a gallon. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I got yeah, that. But yeah, the I, only I, thing it's going to say on that is not to exceed four bedrooms or four forty. It's only going to be uh, yeah, it's only going to be four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Yeah. and it's developed for two years. Yeah. So, so if you think you're not going to break ground within two years, 
Please get back to us so we can give you the extension. I will. I'm, uh, I have my um, I have a, I'm on the list of the water. I don't know how fast they're going. I'm gonna I, check I have no idea. I'm gonna check with them. I'm gonna check with them uh, this week. Really, I don't know what they're doing. I if they, if it, you know, and I don't mean that disrespect. I don't know if there's a moratorium on. There, oh, there is, but but they have a list, and um, I don't know how fast it's moving. But we'll see. I'll, I'll find out. All right. No, you good to go, Jim. Okay, thank you. Um, with that, I'm going to go to some I'm project. I'm going to go to some project <laughs> updates here. Uh, the, gener the generator. Um, just to bring you up to speed real quick. Here's the email I got. Is that the email I got from? Uh, generator perform a load test. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, they um, did a load test on sure. the generator. Uh, this was at the recommendation of the town electrician. Uh, they got it up to. They, it didn't go well. Bottom is this line. our existing? This is our existing generator. Okay. We they got it up to thirty percent load and it started blowing cool great antifreeze all over. So they shut it down. Now what that's going to mean is that we have to expedite that um, the new generator. Um, I want to give you this because Wright Pierce found a, uh, a, new, a new program that Sherry I need you to read that because I think we, we do not qualify for it or it's under ARPA. Now what, I what I've done is I CC Doug and Jen Constable on that email, okay. so they know. So if you have questions, you can talk to them. Basically, it, it is a state cooperative program that it cut the lead time and the pricing on it. But we, I don't know how that's going to fall with the impact on the um, yeah, with the opera funds. But anyway, the the bottom line is that generator load test did not go well. Um, if we lose power for any any length of time, um, we're gonna that thing's not gonna last. It's not gonna hold up. So we okay. have to, Rick's gonna have to come up with a contingency plan that we've got a quick rental right. on a, on a, on available on an all call as an as an emergency. Usually, a power companies have on the back of truck. Well, they, they, we got one from I know one last time from um, from the uh, National Guard I believe under NEPA. All right, the other thing I want to talk about is the digest of piping. Uh, the digest of piping, as you know, I have the bid here if anyone wants to look at it. We received one bid on it. It was cost prohibitive. Uh, the pricing ran one more time. Ran from uh, there were three options. $494,649 for option one. Uh, option two was $473,000. That's for leaving the existing piping in place. And if we go with the way the state really wants us to go with the 303 stainless, it's $520,000. So we are going to go out to re for rebid. Now what I've asked John I ought to do is I'll give you a copy of the email that I received to him from him. This is an email he sent to the state uh, requesting an extension uh, stating that the September 22 uh, we authorized the design to bid and they procured the document construction documents January 23 they we had pre-approved requests for the material pipe material into the state, we didn't hear from them. Uh, the town issued a variance saying we could go with the older piping. Uh, April, we proceeded with the bid package, we had the mandatory site visit, and we had the bid opening. Uh, I personally think, and John agreed, that what scared the bidders away was completion by the 8 3 deadline of this year, the state mandate. I think that just put everyone with the projects they had on hand and the pricing right out to lunch. And I think they threw pricing together for this bid that we did receive. So I am asking for a two-year extension with the state. Uh, we've, we've done everything we can. Uh, and I, I want to, when I have that meeting, I'm going to pitch 
Uh, we've got a lot of money tied up in INI investigation, INI repair. Uh, there is nothing more we can do without funding. So I'm hoping that if we go for two years, they'll give us a year. And I think we can pull it off in that. So that was the, the piping. Yeah. Dig a trench, or are they just going to bring that wheel and wheel the wheel? What are you talking about, for the piping? Yeah. Oh, it's going to go right through the walls. That's for in there. Yes, but the piping, the way it's going down, you got to dig it. No, we don't. It's just going along the walls, snake the walls. It's just the cost of it, getting the material. That's a, that's that's the whole the whole job. I wonder why they can't use plastic. Okay, I don't know. So, currently, this digester project is going over budget, not surprising. Yeah. Um, with the two-year extension, I think we need to keep in mind that we are using some ARPA funds on this. And December 24th. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's why I'm saying if we get the year, I think we could pull it off. Mm -hmm. And as long as we start it, I believe the ARPA says start. Um, but I think that 8-3, August 3rd deadline just scared everyone away because well, you can't get hands on the material, yeah. Yeah. number one. Okay. So I think the state will be, it did be, well, I don't want to, I think it'd be see. wrong if they did not give it to us. Just so you're uh, aware of that deadline. No, no, I was aware of that. With this, why I wanted, told them I wanted to go for the two, and I figured yeah. a year would get us in, under the gun. Okay. Great. Uh, the INI rehab project is on schedule. Uh, there is a downside to it, however, that they're going to be struggling to get the 113,000 gallons of INI. Uh, right now, they're, they're stuck around 60,000 and no major leakage have been found to date. Now, here's where I have a problem with that. Uh, given the fact that we haven't had any rain, this morning when I came in, we were at 2.2 million gallons a day in Florida. Um, and without the rain, and, and no significant rain rather, it has to, has to be a major leaker out there or something seriously going on. You don't think that's our normal usage? Mm -hmm. No, our normal should be, at this time with no rain, should be 1.6 to 1.8. Now unless the, the ground is that saturated and dropping off, you know, the, the real test will be next month. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to ask Veolia, Veolia to check some of the man, bigger manhole, uh, some manholes around the uh, new elementary school to see if they're still flooded. Uh, because I know when we went in to try to do some work on that uh, in April, the water was, you know, really high. So I'm going to see if it's dropped. What did you say the flow was today? Uh, this morning, it was, if I check now, it was 1.9, 2, 2.0. Tonight, you're going to do some tonight or tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, we're supposed, tomorrow night we're supposed to get rain. Um, so I'm going to have Viola to check on that. The INI metering project, that's also on schedule. Uh, the readings of the meters, we're in the process of reading the meters, and that'll go on until the middle of June. And again, for those residents that are watching what the metering project will do we have 50 meters out there around town measuring the flows in areas uh, once the once we get all the the data in we'll be able to identify those areas with high flow once we identify those flow areas we're still going to have to contract uh, with an engineering firm to go in and pinpoint those sources and find out if it's cost effective to repair those uh, those costs are not covered yet. That'll be under our 2024 budget. Um, I have asked for, for the signature on a $3,400 override. That's a second override. Uh, the first one was for $90,000, which will be covered by APRA, and that was to cover the police details. Yeah. Uh, this $3,400 override is for the acquisition of two meters. Uh, we had two meters coming to us under this. One was damaged, so that is to replace for that. The vandalization uh, occurred behind um, the raised storm cover behind uh, CVS, and that's in the parking lot. You can see it from the highway. 
The CWMP program, um, that's not really on hold. Uh, the, the EPA and MassDEP have the draft and we're waiting feedback on their comments. Uh, once that comes back for with their input, it'll go up for public comment and then we'll hold our upper meeting. We'll have our meeting on that. Any questions on those projects? The I and I. Yes. They gave us a report and it said estimated removal was 113,000, and then estimated removal to date was 67,000. Right, that's uh, an estimate. I'm, with, what, I'm confused between the two. Okay, the 113,000 is the goal. Oh, what, okay. we, what we're going to achieve originally was 119. Okay. Got it. Um, 113 was the new goal based on what they saw in, April, in uh, uh, late March, early April. Mm -hmm. But it was with higher waters, but we're finding out now that we're going to be hard pressed to meet that. Okay. Just because we're not finding it? Well, that, that probably not in years. I think what the areas that they uh, are going after were those areas identified from the ACON report. Yep. So we'll be able to have the ACON report and the new metering report to find sources because there's obviously some big leakers out there. Yeah. So um, the one year monitoring is basically an SSES study. Uh, okay. uh, Beach Street drainage project. I'm going to leave that up. Excuse me, up to you, Sherry. We put out the list of. Um, we put out the. Uh, Dave gave us a rundown of where those costs went. You know, I have no problem with it, but I think what we got to do is put out a, a memo to Dave or whoever that for now on a drainage pro, um, quotes. I want to see the the whole project quoted. Mm -hmm. This one here was only the materials from Aldley. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put out an, an email to him asking in the future that if he has drainage work to do, that we're gonna be charged for it to give us a quote on the entire project mm -hmm. because that extra what was it, fifteen thousand yeah, yeah extra yes. fifteen twenty thousand was a, a yeah. real blind side. About um, so on that same vein, we had a question from our previous meeting about the Center Avenue manholes. I have and no answer on that. We yet. did budget for that. We did. We did but right now, we do. We have a budget on it, but I have no idea what the work is on that. We don't know. And John Ayotte has that on his to-do list. Okay. He's on vacation till the first, which I think is tomorrow. Okay. John's going to give us. A John. Quote. John is going to contact the people on that um, for that program. Okay. Um, and find out what what they need from us. We have the manholes already. Right. I think that with that's a state road, they're doing the labor. Okay. Um, review of the waiting list of pending projects. Okay. Um, we had some confusion on the um, on the I think the maintenance fee maybe it was in my. Mine, we'll deal with that, but I'll put that on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Okay, what I see is I don't know if we, and the reason I put that on was we added the two Cary Street projects. I know we have the one. Right, so we put the. Oh, we do, you do. What's on okay. the board approved section? Yep. Third one to the third section down, that's yep. the single family. Yep. And then the fourth section down was pending board review. That's. Yes. Also, right. so that will move up to the board approved. I'll take it out of pending and put it as approved. Okay, um, 327-333 Weymouth Street, but wasn't that approved? That was the... No, that was that was 333-343 for the addition of a bathroom. For the warehouse, right? So that's on the third section. Correct, okay. And but there was on the... Yep. On the town website for pending projects or current projects, whatever you call it, there okay. is this commercial space. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Okay. I'm just saying it was on. On Wayne Street. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had asked. I had asked the gentleman when they were here, which address we were discussing. So I'm very confident that we have the right address. Okay. 
So, um, of those. Oh, well, like, let's go up to one more in Dwyer Street. Uh, Dwyer Street, did I send you the engineering report? Either one of you yesterday? No, right now. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure I send that to you. I received the um, engineering test reports from Hoadley and Pat Brennan on Dwyer Street out of the four manholes, three passed. So they're pending um, one more one more test. Okay. Is that our only concern with them? Well, that's the only thing that's allowed, you know, holding him up. Okay. Uh, and he has not given us new plants. I, I specifically asked Pat, we need his current plants. So Pat's working on that. Um, I mean, yeah. Oh, please, Brandon. Are they mostly built already? They're all built. So there shouldn't the, be any and, problem. And they're, and they're be, advertised. So there should be no problem getting it's, plans. But do, do the plans meet what's actually built? Right. That's, that's why I want, I want to see want. That's exactly what I want. So Pat is working on that. They've had so much problem. Yeah, yeah big time. Um, I want to drop down to to pending again on mm -hmm. on Park and Howard and Holy Family. Um, all we can do on those pending, the, in my opinion, I want to discuss this. Um, we sent the letter out to planning, ZBA, building, um, the Board of Health requested a copy um, that we're not going to be accepting any applications the new connections for this fiscal year. And just to explain to the residents why that's gone, why it's that. Currently our 12, our 12 month rolling average is still over 2.5. Um, we have to get that down because you cannot go monthly. Monthly is cyclical based on rainfall. And even now with two months um, of no rain for, you know, per se, uh, we're still over, we're at 2.5, not only on our monthly, but our daily flow. Now, we have two big projects out there ongoing now. One is an I&I &I repair that we're working on um, those leaks or um, that were identified in the 2021 SSEF study. That is projected to remove 113,000 gallons if we get that of I&I. &I. Uh, if we remove that, we have still 200,000 gallons in the hole to meet our requirement uh, for the EPA order. So with that work gone going out there, uh, the other project is identifying additional sources of I and I. Uh, we're not going to be able to do any work on that until we pinpoint exactly where they are. So we're at least a year out before we take on any more I and I work after this. Now keep in mind, uh, we still have uh, close to 30,000 gallons of new flow that has been approved, we have not seen. Uh, and that's, gonna, that's where that other 200,000 gallons I was telling you about. If you multiply that 11 times 11, which we owe the EPA, that's 312,000 gallons. We're gonna take 112,000 gallons out so it's still going to be 200,000 gallons behind. Uh, and we're also still allowing single family units and duplexes uh, that do not exceed four bedrooms to connect. So we're still playing a significant catch up game. So two last month, yeah, last, I'll say last month because I've lost track of time. I know it was early May, we had two projects come in at the request of uh, Town Hall inquiring about um, available sewerage and both were told the same thing, that we're not going to be taking new applicants um, for this fiscal year. But if they come in, I think we should date them. And when the, when the when availability comes up, not take any applications yet, when, the, when, the, when we have some capacity, call them by date and say, hey, if, you, if your plans are ready to break ground, come in and apply. If, for example, um, uh, okay, I'm going to use the names. Holy Family came in first, and then Shingle, um, and then Park and Howard came in. 
So when we have some capacity, I think we call Holy Family say we have capacity available. Are you ready? And if they say no, then say, okay, we're going to go to Holy Family. And if others come, we'll go right down the line. I think, unless you have any other ideas, uh, I think that's the only way we can handle it. I don't want to take on more on a waiting list because I think we're going to bog ourselves down. We don't even know when we're going to get. We could end up on a waiting list and, and have the situation no one's ready if they approved. Any thoughts on that? So, and that's assuming that when we're ready, they'll have all their other, they'll have all their other permits. Other board approvals, approvals their plans are finalized. Uh, well, I'm, like I said, we can't tell them to stop. I think they're crazy if they do stop, especially given uh, the situation of Holy Family. Holy Family has a lot of work to do. They've got to uh, yeah. re remove the current sewerage which goes under the church and the school and reroute it to Arlington Street. And they, they do all that. Now, based on that conversation, I told them, I said, the only they had brought up, I didn't bring it up, they brought up septic. And I said, that's out of our responsibility. They had to go to the Board of Health. Well, they did go to the Board of Health, and I received a call from Delshawn Flip. And I sent her a copy of the letter we sent to the Planning and Zoning that had all the numbers on explaining where we are. And it just explained to her that she, if she's in contact with people that uh, to help her out if they do want to go septic. I'm sorry they're, they're in that position, but there's, there's really, we cannot take them on right now. No, we can't. I think the EPA would, would just laugh at us. They would say, sure, go right ahead. And then as soon as they connect, no, we can't. No. No, we, we've made this plan and we have to stick to it. I think it's a workable I think, plan. And, and I think I'm, it's a good idea not to accept the applications, not to do approvals at this time and start a wait list because then that puts us in the position of, of being bound by something that has right. happened in the past. And then this we're going to be into that nonsense about the two years up, no, who goes yeah, what. Yeah, and when does that start? And, what do they think we should be running about 1.9, 1 1.8? What we should be, if, if this was an ideal situation, we should be at, given the current population mm -hmm. where we're at, 1.8. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what do they give us for bumper zone? The 2.5. Right. That's your bumper zone for I and I. Yes. And also the five-year, ten-year storm. Okay. Oh. Anything over that, the hundred year storm and what have you, is what those extra tanks are for, should be used for. Yeah. That's your in case so you don't have sewage system overflows. Yes. That's where that goes. Mm -hmm. Ideally, if this was utopia with no I and I, our system should be considered max at one point eight a day. That's what no I and I. That's what they build in. They build in um, a ten percent safety factor and a ten percent uh, factor for the, the big storms. What would Every, be on that? Which would be on that? Which you got to remember this: the system was built and designed in 1962, oh, yes. 1958, 1960, and the population has grown. Um, you got to look at the fact also that since that time we've added hotels mm -hmm. that weren't there. So there, there's a lot of your capacity. Yeah, well, is it still improvement up for a hotel up there? Not, not that I know of. Well, well, Everything we have is, uh, is, is in front of us. That's why we now have this. They were going to put them on the pantry. There was, but they, they, they found out that that was, uh, that was um, the gentleman, I believe, who was the original owner of the shingle mill, wanted to extend, I think it's the company, and I forget what the name of it is, now the little one, next to the Dunkin' Donuts shop. Yeah. Yeah, that land is conservation land. So that was all. But I think... Um, if we had an alternative for all those hotels, would that help our capacity in any way? Hmm? If we had an alternative for those hotels, would that help our capacity? No, the capacity is set. Capacity is what this... There's a misnomer up there the what capacity is. Capacity in a wastewater or even a, a drinking water plant is what you are capable of treating. Yes. Right. Would it lower, 
So maybe I miss spoke it. Would it lower the flow that we're experiencing? If you took away the hotels, yeah. Enough to make a difference. But they, it looked like at the holiday and whatever that Ramada yeah. or whatever. They, could, they can't put a leaching field in there. They're technically in the zone A. Mm -hmm. Or right abutting the zone A. Yeah, I, know. I don't know what that alternative would be. Sure. I think Rockland is at the point. Oh, they were at the point years ago, but they're there now. You have to start, they have to start thinking of a secondary treatment system. Yeah. That's, There's no if it, if they're going to grow anymore. If we're really going to have any kind of growth. Because you are always going to have I and I. You are yes. always going to have it. Yeah. Now, you got to remember, we've got 50 miles, 55 miles, and the bulk of it is vitrified clay pipe. Yes. So, so they would have to stop right to the streets. They're going to have it. Come on, it's right. Well, they, that's my question, yeah. And so doing? they're going to need a secondary treatment system, or they're going to plan on sharing with another community. The only one I can think of is Brockton, because the MWR has said no. And Brockton's I hear is that almost Brockton's, like Brockton's not going to take it. No. They don't take max. I was told by Michael Laughlin that they're willing to take on some of our capacity, but... He said they were going to reach out to me, but I've never heard from them. So yeah. I think we're all agreement that no more applications. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So on this list, I've noted the date when we had a preliminary discussion, mm -hmm. and use that as the starting point. Should we get to open it back up? No. I think it's problems. We have other people tell them it's okay to get. No, well, that's got to stop. And, I, and I'm going to give them credit because they did tell, let's try to look and stay positive on this. They did tell they did tell Park and Howard and, and Holy Family to come to Sua. Now, what they told them in that meeting, I don't care. They, they did come to us and we said, we can't. I mean, the numbers are there. We can stand by our numbers. So we're not denying because we need the revenue. I mean, it's hurting us. It's hurting us more than it is the town. Because we depend on that revenue to function. That's right. Okay, so that's that puppy out of the way. So I'm going to update the, the approval that we had today and give it to Robin for posting. Yes. Uh, one thing I didn't bring up <laughs> earlier is I want to uh, mention that we have a, a bill from Green Mountain for uh, the next portion of the work that they've done. Uh, the invoice is uh, for $124,068. And it's already budgeted, so we give that to, to Robin to pay. Where are the work? Uh, yes, but now the work is being done by, they were bought out by a company in Rhode Island, uh, Inland Waters. So, the one other thing that revolving fund stuff was wanted to be brought up. I don't know why they were involving that stuff. That is the uh, asset management program. Oh, okay. We received some communications um, from Town Hall that they got from the state um, to get the, the project is approved and rolling. Um, Dave Taylor said that he would be giving us an update. It would be updating our GIS associated with both drainage and sewer in underground infrastructures and then environmental partners has been procured to do the work. Right. So um, there, tomorrow on June 1st, there's a webinar presentation to cover the SRF financing process. So I'm going to let Dave know that I'll be joining that. And okay, great. Assuming now that remember when you... That. The, on the SRF financing, that's going to be a big key in our upgrade, too. Yes, that's why the more I can find out about it, the better we are. And if they have a question and answer, uh, one of the one of the things that, that was a Godwin that just drove by, um, is on that, well, no, it's, it's going to muddy the waters up for that seminar. We can get that from work, yes. Uh, when you, oh, I have, have you spoken with them recently on funding? Not recently, no. I have to get back. Um, I was expecting some follow-up last week and didn't get it. So last week was a um, tough with the, well, with the, the holiday. holiday and all. Yeah, so I'm going to start. I'm going to kick that up again and see what. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious what is going to happen with this program um, for the asset management 
because we really don't have any information. We don't have any timeline. No, I have, have I'm not going to apply for that. Um, you know, and it was nothing in the files regarding it. No, no. There's two dates here that for sub submissions that need to be made. Again, it's an assumption that Dave's going to do it. So, One of the other things I was questioning, didn't that need um, man hours supplied to Yes, it to does. That? Yes, it does. So we're going to need to, uh, we have to we coordinate. Have to yeah. And now I'm wondering if those man hours are, are the times we contact, are the hours that we contract um, environmental partners. Well, he, that's that's the thing. I, I really just don't have a clear idea of what or how he's going to manage this project. Okay, maybe yeah. if we can invite him into I think, uh, a yeah. working session to update us on that. I think I think we should just so that we have an idea of what what to expect and, and what he needs from us because we have those hours. We were planning on having the Western Samson do it with the I and I control. But there still needs to be a contact. And yep. Just, just a lot of coordination to get, kind of okay. get it started. And you know, how is he going to update this? And what is the completion date on it? What I'll do what is I'll send him out an email and ask him to uh, give, give him two or three weeks to get together to go to that seminar what have you, mm -hmm. and then come in and update us. Okay. And you said there was an SRF question. Uh, no, the, the only okay. other one was the reason I'm saying the SRF question is uh, we're coming up to the period now, April to October, that we have to really keep an eye on the phosphorus. And my my fear is if we, we trip on phosphorus um, and get sighted, that affects we we no longer qualify for a zero percent mm -hmm. loan. Now, knock on wood, uh, so far it's been a dry spring. If it's a damp spring. Last year we had a, um, a dry spring and summer, and it did not impact the phosphorus that much. And the wet, it might, you know, with the with more um, area to grow. So you just keep an eye on that. I also um, attended an open webinar from the Metro Area Planning Council on Economic Development Funding, EBA. Um, and it was more, that funding was more geared towards what's going to create jobs okay. and those kind of economic benefits. Um, but the gentleman did it, um, suggest that I reach out to him and he might have some ideas for a different funding. You should also be getting a call from uh, Samantha Woods of uh, North River Watershed. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the quid pro quos was she wanted to get the draft of the CWMP and I wanted some of her contacts for funding for I and I work. Do you remember she mentioned that? Mm -hmm. um, I, I talked to her two weeks ago. I haven't followed up. I will. Legal funds. Um, I sent out an email uh, to Doug, Scott, and Chris Kenny two weeks ago. Uh, we need more, and Robin as well needs more detail on the bills that we're getting from legal. Mm -hmm. Now, somehow we're twenty thousand dollars in the in, in the arrears on our budget of legal. Uh, I've gone through our legal bills and. With the exception of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bills were within budget. Those seven bills come to $18,562, which we never saw any invoices for, we never signed off on. Are they part of the big EPA discussion? Doesn't matter. We, we, I haven't seen the invoices on them. It says, it says here the comments, Board of Selectmen, so I'm assuming the Board of Selectmen signed off on them. I want the detail on it. or. Because the reason I'm saying is, I talked to Doug, and according to him, the sewer department has to pay the fine when we get the fine, 100%. Okay, so if that's the case, the bill shouldn't be going to them, they should be coming to us, we should be seeing them. 
So I am not, I'm, I personally won't sign off on any more legal bills until I see the detail on these. I've got bills here for um, 2,000, 3,000, 6,000. Who contacted them? Hmm? Yeah. Who from the survivor contacts? Nobody. What a selectman and town hall signed off on them. I want the de I've, I've asked them for details. We'll let them, I'm sure with the holiday, they were tied up as well. We'll give them another week. I'll try it again. If that don't so work, then I'll go to the we have to pay for, If we get fined. Oh, we're going to be fined. Why should we pay the fine? Sewer department. Yeah, but it was their policy they did it. Well, we'll ha probably have that discussion when the time comes, which is why I'm going into my next item. This is for discussion only. As you know, I've been talking to various other law firms about representing sewer because quite honestly and bluntly, I don't think sewer is getting a fair representation from the town. Maybe that's just perception, I don't know. Uh, one of the firms I was very impressed with and I spoke in depth to was Anderson and Krieger. Uh, they handle municipal. One of the key things they said is that you have to have the money in, in Clifford and Kennedy. Also, you have to have the money retaining your legal fees. Well, we have a, a fund that at the end of the year we fill up, we pay all our bills. So come July, we're going to have enough money in our budget if we transfer money from the superintendent's fund to cover a base retainer. What Craig Wood and would want is a $10,000 retainer. And that's why I'm giving you for discussion, not for here, to read it through. And for questions at our next meeting um, for them. Uh, what I'm looking for is I'm not saying that Clifford and Kenny are not doing their job, but just that we're going to come into conflicts with the town, be it on connections, um, be it on this fine, who pays what. To me, the town is just as much liable for the fine as the sewer department is. They allowed, they did not follow, they, they did not follow up, but yet they say that anything we have to do is going to go through the town because it's somehow their responsibility. Well, it's their responsibility, belly up to the bar. So, again, I, I really would like you to look at this agreement. Uh, their rates are going to be higher than Clifford and Kenny. We'd be getting a very unbiased opinion. Mm -hmm. And we could retain them only for secondary opinions on an as needed basis. It's not full time represent on an as needed basis. I mean, if they if, if we go this route and, and they want to say they do a conscious pilot of us, all right, then, for example, if they want the EPA submittals reviewed, it's on their nickel. But anyway, please review it, look at it, and ask, write down questions so we can have these out in the open. And then what I would like to do is have uh, one of the representatives, one of the partners in to speak with us. Okay. Um, I thought it was wicked organized so far today, man. I, I, uh, you are cruising. I am impressing the snot out of me. Municipal fees. Okay, we have to have a long discussion on that. We put it up, put it up, but I think we could just start talking about it. What I'd like to do is, I think, is have Doug in and, and Michael Laughlin and, and discuss with them uh, the sign and I work. Uh, I think the town, if they, a town wants to grow and we want to grow and we need the revenue, they have to help out on the I and I repair work. If not, we have to start charging the town to recover money so we can go after it. And I think we leave the option open to them that they'll give us, say, $500,000 a year for I&I, &I, or we have to charge them applicable fees. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to do is I'd like to make a motion that uh, would probably, um, I'll talk to Mike about his availability maybe after the 4th of July, the new fiscal year, have them in for uh, a meeting of just Mike, uh, Doug Lapp, and us at first to, to lay the groundwork for it, and then if it needs a joint meeting with the entire board of selectmen, mm -hmm. 
and all that. But we, we are not going to get by doing what we have to do to fight on it, to, to do what we have to do to comply with the, the order and combat I and I. We just don't have the resources to do it. And I don't want to put a stranglehold in the town for growth because they'll point the fingers at us. And unfortunately, we are the constraint. And I can't help that. It is what it is. Right. Numbers don't lie. And the biggest problem I, I foresee the town saying, okay, once you get this out, we'll get let one developer in and hopefully we'll move it. I think we have to get it down to a workable point. To then allow, we have enough to cover, like say, a Holy Family, what they need. Have their 11 to 1 covered. Say, okay, now come in and you're honestly going to help cover the next guy. You know, you're going to pay for your fee. Now, once that's removed, the next guy comes in. I think that's how we have to do it. Then we can get into using developer fees to remove I and I and not ours. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're stuck using ours right. because we spent all the money in the past. Mm -hmm. That's my spiel. Unless you got anything more on accounting. Um, no, not for accounting. Mm. One other thing is co-op. Um, I have a meeting next Thursday, next Thursday at Northeastern, with their advisors, their board of advisors. Um, I'm on their mentoring program. I've asked for a meeting. They granted me one to sit down with their co-op people and come up with a, a job description. If we were to take a co-op student in to learn the ropes of being a superintendent, what would that program consist of? So we have to come up with, here's how we bring him in, maybe uh, a week with Rick, then a week on the road doing markouts and what have you, mm -hmm. uh, then a week inside doing that. Co-op usually lasts, if I remember right, eight weeks, six to eight weeks. A semester. Huh? Yeah, six yeah. day weeks. I could get through so long since I did mine. I know my kids were a good money. Hey, they, they, they get paid. Um, we're not going to break the bank on them. They, they, they're looking for, it's, they're more, when you go in the co-op program, experience. they're more opt, when you take the freshmen and sophomores, they're looking for experience in the field mm -hmm. to get dirty, right? Mm -hmm. They want to learn, say, hey, maybe, because their wastewater That's program is starting to build up uh, good, good following. So bring them in like that. Uh, once you get it to juniors and seniors, that's where you latch on to the uh, the ones that you really, the ones you really shine and you want to retain and mm -hmm. hopefully carry them over. Uh, and some of them, once you get up to that, make make some decent money on that. Uh, we'll be competing with a lot of high 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 end ones, but uh, it's their co op program is a bargain. It really is. is. Like it helps the students out with semester their college money and they get real good experience. And with a company like Violi, if we could take them and find some, maybe they want to move them around and stay mm -hmm. and get them experience at other facilities that would benefit us in the long run. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do. We need to come, come up with, if you could help me come up with some, some bullets that we could build on in there of what we would want to consider a, a nice program to bring. Uh, I, I would look at it, bring in a, a well, the co-op's often freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. Uh, so they would have a year of, of um, class. class under their belt. And, uh, and they do have a wastewater program, uh, um, which you would be focusing on. And other ones that would be interested would be your mechanical or, or electrical engineers would want to come in on it. Like I said, it, it's, it's given us another avenue to explore for a superintendent. And you're thinking from this we might find someone? I think we'll find someone to come in. Now remember that co-op program is not just summer. It's year round. Yeah. Yeah. So one guy leaves and another right. one comes in. Right. So so we maybe have one or two or three that we develop and they say, okay, we come up with a program, co-op season one, season two, and then they just progress and move them on. Right. It's a working process. But Gearing them maybe to finding that one diamond in the rough that, that we that say, hey, you know what I like? I've learned enough about your facility. Yeah. I think I could do it on a daily basis. 
you know what, if we're a training ground, so be it. We're yeah. going to super net for five years. And you know what, that they're probably going to end up, they're going to, we'll probably end up as a DPW next year anyway. Who knows? I don't think they're ready for I that personally. I don't have any problem being a training ground. Um, but you know what, I think it, it's a good, good one. And Jack brought up, Jack, maybe you want to speak about what you, what you discussed with the military option? Well, so, uh, one of my contacts from I used to work with, he transitions or helps transition soldiers into civilian life. Mm -hmm. So he gets involved in various activities, including career counseling. So mm -hmm. he comes across a wide variety of skill sets, mm -hmm. but they're out of the military, they're disciplined, they know what to do, but they're looking for careers. And when they get into civilian life, some of them don't have a clue. What, but they, you get in the military, you get a guy, you know, they have wastewater yes. treatment plants. Yeah, there's, there's and, you know, they still do a lot of skills there. Yes, yes. So yeah. I think it would be a good contact to have the name, and if it's already with the board, I'd like to pursue that, and maybe, Jack, you could help me out with that. You, you and I could meet with the gentleman yeah, and that, discuss. Yeah, that's fine. He's willing to, he's, he's anxious to sit down. Yeah, no, I'd like to call him. The program. I would like to call him tomorrow sure. and uh, see if we can set something up to come in here next week and talk to us. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make the, I'll make the motion. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do I have a second? Yeah. All right, all in favor, Mr. Ross? Yes. Ms. Valley? Yes. Yes, that we're going to contact the military. We'll call him a military recruiter well, the to help transition. The LD the would send him to school to get trained also. They would, yeah, probably. Now, he's not with the military. No, I know, I know. He's, but he's with helping. a third party that the, that's contracted to the I military. I understand that, but I think that would be a, I think that's he's a great move. He's the he contact. Is a yes. contact. Yeah. I, think it'd be, I think it'd be a great move for us. It's a, it's a, you know, and like Jack was saying, they, in the military, you have these facilities. You, we may find that one guy. Say, so, oh, I did want to, uh, yeah. and they may get someone from Camp Lejeune that wants to work on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know the premature. How about, do you want to get back on the Tuesday schedules again with the summer for working sessions, or do you want to keep them going, or do you think we're down to one a month now, or every other week? I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's meet next Tuesday. Okay. No, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to invite you guys all off of my pig roast. Um, why don't we meet next Tuesday? And one of the items to be do we meet every other week or every third week for a working session? The, you know, we can't sit here and say, we're doing so much anyways. When we go week by week, let's say you can take it two weeks off. We can skip a week. Yeah, well, it's not just me. You two can meet without me. That's just it. But do we want to continue them on a regular basis is what I'm saying. I say we best so. With the, all this money that's coming in and out of you. All right, let's think about it this yeah. week, all right? And we'll talk about it. So next week's agenda let's, before yeah, we grand lobby. Let's meet weekly through June. Okay. So next week on it, we're going to have um, what? Um, next week, we're going to look at... Uh, the fee structure again. Yep, fee structure. And I'll draft. Tell you what, I'll draft a letter inviting um, Doug and Mike to a meeting to discuss municipal fees. All right. I am municipal fees. Uh, hopefully, I'll have. I'll know. Um, Maybe we can't take out a minute at our meeting next week. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, now while well, I'm thinking And we'll vote on Mr. Wheeler's fees. Yes. To keep that yeah. process going, the vote and the letter. Yeah. Um, yeah, monthly flow rate, just you know, a 12 month rolling average as of today was 2.5109. So I'll say 2.52. All right, I'm going to ask a question. You feel free to laugh because it probably is laughable. Can't we just go and fix all the pipes in town? No, we don't have the money for one. We don't know where it is. 
Well, what I'm saying is, now let's let's say we have money. Yes. Can't we just go replace the pipes down here? You're talking street? About replace money. or line the pipes down. You're here talking the, the amount of work. You could probably line them, but you'd have to you have to go in to say, okay, can this pipe be lined or is the crack too big? Does it have uh -huh. to be repeated? Because you can line it, uh -huh. and if the crack is too big, it, it grows. You just it. you're spraying it outside yeah. or nothing. Okay. They require for you. Would it be? If we could get that four million dollars, we could put a hell of a dent in it. <laughs> because think of it, like yeah. they borrowed twenty-two million dollars just to do our area. Did they? Yes. Okay. Okay. And All right. That's, so that's called Garden Street money. too. No, the, yeah. the big, the big okay. thing we could do with that that four million is lining. You're not going to yeah. replace. No. But you, it's, it's like with this metering pro program we have out there. Now we have that money's all allocated, right? We already right. spent that. Now we only have two hundred thousand. Fry and I. Yes, on a regular basis. Okay, out of that two hundred thousand dollars, metering program is going to come in and say, "Okay, here are your big areas." Yeah. That two hundred thousand dollars is going to go just to investigate one of those areas. Right. It's it's not going to repair it. Because once those areas are, are, are identified, I mean, say, wait, hey, you can try to say that, that area over there, Wymanfield's got a, a lot of I and I. What part of Wymanfield? Where on Wymanfield? Yes. That's where you start there. The That's where the money comes in. That's You've got to find it. Okay. So that's yeah, why that $200,000. would not be more efficient to just. Just Where do you start? Do the okay, it's, you're going to say it's still fish. Okay, you're going to pick a, a portion of town. Yeah. Is that portion of town got more Ryan and I than that portion of town? Are you wasting your money? Right. Well, it's, it's a. It's, it's, and that's, you are going to be chasing I and I for the rest as long as you have underground pipes. You're going to be chasing I and I. Okay. Just because of one simple word, harmonics. You get traffic going over, it's vibrating the grounds. Mm -hmm. Even plastic's going to give. It's going to okay. last a lot longer than vitrified clay pipe. Oh, yeah. Clay pipe, remember, especially BC, BCP, is just pushed in, like I think right. it's like two or three feet. So when that's in, ground freeze and all that, and harmonics, that's, that's, that's where it comes. Okay. Plus, we're supposed to be sitting in the sand, not rock. Yeah, and plus, once you get it out to so much point, they're conical, so once you get yeah, vibrates right. out to a point, you're going to get leak anyway. No. Yeah, it doesn't mean that's a thing. Why don't we bring Robin in and we can beat right. feet. Is that a black thing? Yeah, you want it? Well, you guys oh, signed in black. Does either of you want to take home and look at this a little bit? Oh, pretty for the um, so I just yeah. I just can't believe it's that high. Five hundred seventeen thousand to. Uh, that's inside. That's not going down the road either. Yeah. That's probably okay. First, yeah. At some point, I'll ask for it. No. That's yours. That's a signed copy. You can go to Scott. Thank you. So it's a change order for thirty-four hundred, right? Yes. All right. With Exhibit A. No, she wants a number. Hold on. You know where that goes, right? No. Okay. Hold on. I mean, I probably could figure out, but if you have it handy. Uh, ready for the whole thing? Yes. 297-212-28-586091. Oh, yeah. I don't even re recognize that number. Is that a new number? No. What's no, the name that's, Do you know the that's the I and I ARPA. Oh, oh, that's why it's weird to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this one we voted on. That's our pro That's the Green Mountain invoices to pay. Oh my God! Did you actually get it wet? They get it wet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's t what's today? Five thirty-one. Yes. Yes. And hey, thanks for this. My day was my birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, and Robin, you'll be you getting said. an updated wait list because we approved for the Harris Street. Want me to get her mind? Uh, 
No, I'll, I will email okay. it because I have to take the um, 48 Cary Street guard the duplex. The, the, the duplex, yes. Lot two. Did you do the fees firm? No. No, I'm going to do we'll the do, fees up we'll the next week. If we, we, we'll do that next week. week. I thought he had fees. He gave him a very tall. Well, oh, he gave him an estimate. That was just a formal with the letter. They've not changed him from the estimate? Not really. We're just going to include the maintenance fee. Oh, yeah. This is for Sherry. I called Bill and got <coughs> their names, and Bill's phone number, I wrote it down on this. You can call him. He's the developer. Can you, book can you read all that? Yes, I can. All right, good. Um, so I haven't taken a vacation this year. I've taken some vacation time, but <clears throat> I have something like I haven't. Yeah, I haven't taken a vacation this year. Yeah. Anyone else want to fly with me? Don't want to put this wrong. Oh my God! <laughs> you guys, what happened? You too much sunshine in here today? Um, so anyway, I have 130 something. So I'm going to take 131 days. Hours, so I'm going to take the hours. You know the difference to get me down to 80. So in our union contract, we can carry over 40, but we have to write to Doug Lapp. He approves it. So I'm actually going to ask him for 80. And the way I'm going to get caught up is I'm going to take Fridays off in the summer, if you don't mind. That'll be in keeping with town hall. Okay. And yes. yeah. I'll be able to get down to my regular level. So I'm going to send him an email. Is that okay with all of you? Yeah. So yeah. So you're taking Fridays off every. Okay, can I ask a quick question, Bob? Summer. I just saw that. Did they have a big problem or something out there today? I just saw a Godwin drive by, a Godwin pump, on the back of the truck. No. So every year we pump down Hotsuff Park Pond. We do. Yep. We oh, do okay. it as a favor. All right. So we pump that down, and they pump it into the woods, and then eventually it goes back. No, I see a Godwin pump going by in a pickup truck. I don't think I'm oh, thinking so something gave can, way. Well, yeah, no, no. We do that Oh, every, so they no. can clean the pond and get it ready for the yeah, summer? Oh, no, okay. Uh, the water oh. reaches back in. No, I just, oh. I just had a temporary coronary. That's all. <laughs> yeah. That's huh? all. No, they've no, been lot. doing that like since oh, okay. forever. They just call up and schedule it with the Olea. Um, so anyway, so I have to, I have to yeah. take four days in, in June. Okay. And then I'll carry the 80 hours over, which is 10 days. Okay. Which is the exact number of days that town hall is closed on Fridays. So then I'll be on my regular. So you're not on the same contract as the town hall? I do. I am on the yeah. same, same contract, contract, but they have different They're all They're closed they on Fridays, so she's going to take the same days. So even though I'm on the same contract, they work two Tuesday evenings a month. So that they can get ten okay. Fridays off in the summer. Okay. I don't do that. So. Okay. And water doesn't do it either. But they're not even on the same contract. And do you have any bulk weeks scheduled for the summer? I yeah. don't. No fabulous vacation. Not far away. No, no okay. but if something comes up, then I'll I'll let you know. No problem. Yeah. No, I don't have anything planned. But I do want to pop down to Florida, maybe in September or October to see a friend of mine. So. Go October. Because I'll have three. Weeks. It's hurricane season. Again. Yeah, I don't. And I don't want to get behind. Yeah. And I shouldn't get behind if we get a person. No, that's, that's on my agenda to ask you later. They don't. Did they get, get a person yet? No, no. We have uh, interviews scheduled. Okay, why don't we start on that now if you want? Well, they're scheduled for next week. We have to okay. Schedule. How many people? Two. Two. Are those all the applicants? Just those two? Um, I, we do have a third applicant. I'm going to see how these two go first. Okay. Yes. Up to, it's up to you too. Yeah. All right. So on to Rockland site sheets from Frank. So the 3,400 is what you just gave me. Yep. But he also mentioned an additional I and I identified um, at a cost of 7818. Did he give you something to sign for that? No, he's uh, he's going to give that. I wanted to to ask him to be more specific on location. An estimated uh, estimation of gallons removed. So I gotta, I gotta. He, I, he got the call in for me. I don't know if he's still away or what. All right. So I'm just gonna note that on here for the next time. Um, has anyone heard anything from Eleven Commerce Road? No. Nope. All right. So. 
This gentleman came in. He owns 11 Commerce Road, which is four condo units, but they're businesses, so it's commercial. Um, he is on town sewer, and he's tied in on Commerce Road. But his property runs from Commerce Road down the Long Technology Place. And he has a parking lot in the very rear of his property along Technology Place. He wants to put a small building out there in his parking lot. He wants to tie into sewer because he wanted to add a toilet and a sink. It's like kind of like a warehouse deal. Um, and he was just kind of failing out, failing it out. So I found out that A.W. Perry owns that private road known as Technology Place. So my feeling is that he would have to contact them if he wanted to hook into sewer over there. I also don't know. I don't have a map of the sewer along Technology Place. I'm sure that A.W. Perry does. And I wonder how to proceed. Do I tell this person, his name is Glenn Miller, to get in touch with A.W. Perry and get the drawings for the sewer and the permission to tie in and then come back to the sewer department for permission from us to tie in? And he would have to probably add his own stub at his cost. That's what you and I discussed, and I think that's what he should do. I mean, that is we what can't. He should, do. Okay. he should contact A. W. Perry as the owner, and A. W. Perry should not hesitate. I mean, he would have plans on that. No, is he his address? Is that Rockland or Haven? That's Rockland. It's Rockland, that's Rockland. But Rockland. <clears throat> from A. W. Perry's point of view, if something happens with that sewer after he ties in, do they own it or does he own it? Like. I would say A.W. Perry owns it because, you know what, he got it for basically nothing. Okay, because it's private sewer. Yeah, no. All right, so can I advise him of what we just spoke yes, about? Yes, I please don't. Can you just walk me through that again? So the, it's a private road, the owner yep. owns the sewer, he's going to be connected to the privately owned sewer. Right. So A.W. Perry doesn't own the connection, he owns the connection. He owns the and connection they to the right here. Yeah. But okay. now here's his so parking lot. Okay, right so A.W. Perry discharges to Rockland Sewer. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So even though it's private, okay. he he owns that private sewer line. Yep. He still discharges in, and they to own our the collection system. And then we charge them fees. A. Perry that. does not pay fees. They do not pay sewerage. They pay they pay sewer fees for what they dump into our collection the use. system. Yeah. Not the connection. Them. Right. The connection Just the use. Everything is all done. User fees. Yes. Yeah. They pay user fees? I thought that was part of the initial no. deal that they did no, not. we build them. We build, they have businesses the up business there that we build. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, and the, that's yeah. why the sewer line runs down. Yeah. Okay. So we're right. building them on their consumption. Right. Okay, so no, having so to then, contact A.W. Perry, I don't think they would have a problem with it. I mean, ideally, he could tie into his own building and go into sewer right, that way, but it's so far. Right. Um, that he didn't want to tear up his parking lot and all no, that. He's no. so close to there. This, this makes more sense. I'd definitely. rather see this. Yeah, I'd rather see this. <clears throat> so so he, he's going to be reliant on the goodwill of A.W. Perry to allow him to tie in. Right, and I, I'm right. sure I don't think they will have a problem. And then I think they're coming after us again. Private. Is who coming after us again? No. You think, no, he's fine. Did that mean they, I thought they were going to build that whole complex. No, 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 no. That's, that, that's right. I'm involved in something that's not in the realm of it. That would be so much easier for him to do that. And I don't, just do, do not Do you mind if I tell him that or did you want to speak to No, why don't you that? do it? If he wants to talk to me, I have no problem with it. Right. I, you know, I don't see it can be a major deal. Okay. All right, so this is 978 Union Street. Uh, last time that we spoke about him, last meeting, he was pulling a building permit to cut and cap, and then he did it on his own, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Now he has a, a, a permit out there, and the building department put it on permit eyes. It's for Stephen O'Callaghan, 978 Union. House has been demolished. He wants to remove and rebuild the foundation up. And I asked Tom Rubel to notify me when the permit came out so we can, when he does do that foundation work, that I could be there when he removes that and checks and inspects it. All right, so what do you want me to say on the, am I approving the permit? It's preliminary and then I have to put some language in there. Yeah, put down, 
pending visual inspection upon completion of capping. On site visual wait, inspection. Wait a minute, visual inspection of capping, isn't it already cut and capped? No. Yeah, but I wanted to, I told them I wanted to expose to see it. Okay. So it's the previous cut and cap. Right. And he was all amenable to that, so. All right. Now, they get the speed up. I'm sorry, Nobody Bill. Else. I'm not going to be in a dummy right now. Sorry about that. The sinkhole uh, near 11 Linwood Street, Weston and Samson was addressing that as part of the I&I &I project, right. and you have going to follow up. That, that's the set. That's some, that, no, that's the... The, this is the one that goes with that contract? Right. Okay. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get them to, to be more specific what's going to be removed. What are we what are we looking at? This is the Linwood. 7818. And they're going to do that before they I think he's. A, I, I think. Don't think he'll be back till next week. Cool. Frank from Western Sands. I think he's sitting sick now. Obviously, right. we email. All right. So we have two interviewees for the part time. Mm -hmm. um, I called about the Fab Five Haitian Bake Bistro that's taking place at Baking with Joy. They still. Um, they're working with the building department to get a few things done before they're going to be eligible to open. Okay. Can I go back to the part timer before again? Are they, are they Rockland residents? Um, all right, let's carry it. All right. I, I don't think that matters. I no, I know, but I was just curious. That's all. Um, Dynavac, we haven't heard anything from them yet, right? Ooh. Yeah, Dynavac, the people who went over there. No, I'm glad you, glad you mentioned that. I'll call Sue again. Well, I think they have well, until no, the end of June. June. Yeah, they do. The They're going to be due it at the end of June. They said, um, matter of fact, they gave me a date. Somehow the 16th is, 13th or the 16th from the bell. Do you want to wait on calling them? Give them a couple weeks? Because they have months so. Yeah, maybe I should. I've already called them once. Okay, yeah, I'll wait. No, there's three manholes, that's what. I know. Uh, I forwarded the memo from David Taylor to the commissioners on 518. Is there any yes. follow up on that, or are we all set? Well, That's the Beach Street Sewer Trench Water. Yeah, yeah. We've already discussed that. Yeah. Well said on that. Well said on that. Can I take that out of the book yeah. then? All right. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. One down, only 45 more to go. Um, <laughs> Center Ave man Manholes. I'm John sure Ayon is still working on that. Yeah. He's out definitely till Monday. I'm so. just going to leave that pending. And you had a question. We did budget some money for that. Oh, do you, how much did you budget? Do you remember? 50000 for FY24? Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. Oh. Budget 50K like, for FY24. I feel like a Saturday Night Live skit. No, she's good. She's good. <laughs> All right. And it's so. combined with something else. Maybe it's just R&M or something. But. All right. So <clears throat> what did we budget it under? What account do you know? All right. Well, we can follow up on that. You'll have to let me know by, well, we're going to be doing budget stuff pretty soon. Well, yeah. We'll be a little crazy. Yes. That's going to be a lot of fun. So we still, we don't have a price in mind, but we budgeted 50. That could be enough to get us started or even complete. We already have the manholes. Yes, we do. Aren't you glad we didn't return them? <laughs> the mind. Yes. Yes. Price. <clears throat> it all comes together eventually. Um, I did follow up with David Taylor this morning about 435 Hingham Street. He had sent a letter to that condo association to clean out the head walls. He's still following up with them because they okay. haven't been responsive. Um, last I have is this May 11th letter to Zero Pond Street. And Hold on to that. Out. That's that's coming up that's, about Tuesday night. All right, so we'll just leave that pending. Oh, <clears throat> so I have two vendors that I was working with for window coverings. 
and I'm going to run through the options real quick and tell me if you have any opinions on this. The price range is from three thousand to fifty-two hundred. That's the shame. Yeah, you okay? <coughs> 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 All right. So to do exactly what we have now in green shades is thirty seven hundred basically. Right? To do aluminum shades like we have now, but one across the top and individuals below. Oh no, I'm sorry, one across the top and one across the bottom. So you just have four of them. Here, here, and then the two bottoms. That's twenty nine fifty seven. So that means when you open the blinds, the whole window opens at the same. Then we had wood blinds that would match the wood tone over here, and that was all individual like we have now, and that price was forty two forty one twenty one. Then we go into solar roller shades that block the heat from the sun, but you can see through them. So she priced that one across the top. So there's you know, two sections, one across the top, one across the bottom, mm -hmm. same over there. Mm -hmm. The only adjustment would be if you rolled up all five windows, you know, all at one time, and you would get the sun coming in. That was <coughs> about 4,400. And she did the solar roller shades, one across the top, but then individual sections on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you would have nine individuals, one for each section on the top, 5109, so 5110. Are those electric solar? They're not, because that was like an added expense, and then if we don't use them too often, you know that's going to mucky up and would have problems, so I was just, we can... We can push them up and down and get a little exercise. Mm -hmm. Those are the options, but I still have um, one other vendor, Craig's Textiles. They're a local vendor in town. So we've been playing phone tag, and I'm going to try and get them in and get a price. But do you have any <coughs> preference on those types of selections? I like the idea of that solar one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like well, I'm not that I'm living here. You the, are. So. The, uh, well, you're the one who uses this room for meetings. Well, the metal shade is that. The metal that's is not the one that light in. No, no it's no. just like these. It's just like these. Exactly. So you you have to turn each one individually. Right. Or she gave us an option of one all the way across. That's a lot of big shade. It is. Yeah. I mean, this option isn't bad. It's been working for a long time, and when they're all fully operating, you can tilt them to keep the sunshine out. Mm -hmm. And open the ones that you want. Sometimes you get a glare in one or two panes, you close those, leave the rest open. I'm stepping out of this, my face is in my mouth. Have, have, I mean, you, I... have you ever used the top? No, that's why I said to her, can you just price one? But if you don't put them, put them there, when you're sitting over here or walking, all you can see is the top of the digestive boiler. Rusty and it looks horrible. And, and, if you put nothing there, frost them. and if you put nothing there, yeah. you're going to get that full sunshine heating this room up. That's why we had not, like, mm -hmm. that's why they're all rolled up right now, so we can mm -hmm. see. Yeah. yeah. I don't see that about that building. Can you see out the top window from, from there? See the sky. Yeah, I you see sky. What I said. When you're over there, all you can see is the top of the digest building. And this is coming out of sundries for next year? Yeah. We always have, like, that came out of sundries this year. Mm -hmm. And the furniture mm -hmm. last year was this furniture. So we have a little yeah. in there. The problem that I'm going to run into is the other account, the um, computer services account, where we do the mailings and all that with the monthly bill cycle yeah. yeah that's that's going to cost us a little bit more because postage has gone up and um it'll be the first full year that trash is out of mix and i know they did that i'm pretty sure i know we bumped that up for our budget when we all went to enterprise funds um sometimes People will send in a check and they don't allocate it properly or they have to figure out how to allocate it and sometimes a trash bill or trash payment would end up on water or sewer. 
so they separated it and built separately so that wouldn't happen. And it's been much better, but <clears throat> water and sewer are also enterprise funds, but because we bill based on consumption through your water meter, we're together. We stay together. Even though we could have used the same argument, but it costs more money, obviously, to break away and bill separately. It doesn't really make sense. So when do you need an answer on the blinds? Um, I don't because I'm. I've got oh, okay. say, what I was asking for was your opinion if you had any preference. Well, I would say solar, but I'm saying you said there was two solar options. What did you say? Yeah, the two solar options were to both of them included just one across the top, mm -hmm. and either one on the bottom or oh, separate. Individual. So we would end up with two across the top and two across the bottom. This five window section and that four window section, yeah. or nine mm -hmm. individuals on the bottom. I like the idea of having the individuals because you can tailor them. Looking. But honestly, I think the one piece will look a lot cleaner, and you can see through it. Mm -hmm. you put a, could you put it like a design on it too? You probably could, but I wouldn't. <laughs> a castle island, <laughs> right? right? Could have a nice sea view over there. Castle island. Being a being a waste treatment plant, I can think of a perfect design. <laughs> Logo. Yeah, I can, uh, I can look at Sully's and Seagulls while That's I'm working. Sully's, <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. I gave my wife to Sydney one day, a woman was right beside us, and said, Go ahead, young woman, we'll be eating. All of a sudden, she screamed, but it was fast. She said, Seagull took my head, took my hand, threw it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I screamed, I'm going to get my hand out of the hand. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to have, um, just by the way, I'm going to have Craig's textiles do the exact same configurations unless there's something out of there you don't want. Like if you don't want the wood blinds, just tell me now and I won't waste your time. No, I think the wood blinds are on the side. Uh, yeah, I think that's not cost effective. Over five what grand. Was it five grand? Yeah. I wouldn't. Only five. All right. If people will put them in the I house, would, I should. would skip the wood. All right, good. Unless you can put it down your house. Mom. All right. Uh, 48 Carey Street. Did we just talk about that? We just talked about that. Duplex approved. Okay. Duplex. Dynasty were done with that third block. Did he give you any indication what he was going to do? No. Like, why did he back out of something? I have no idea. That's why I'm dying. Oh, you didn't ask him? No. I'm, I, <laughs> I didn't want to cry. I was dying to. I can't believe you didn't ask. Them. I was dying to, but I, I didn't want to. I didn't know if that was appropriate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're just I'm not there, but you very well. Oh, just I, I'm really curious. Anything? I, so Holy Family. I feel like were they reaching out or is, is it something? That right, Holy Family. They they know where they stand. We cannot take any applications. And I told them I'd help them out. They're looking at septic. I have no idea. Right, because I saw that whole correspondence that went to the Board of Health. By the way. Delshawn, the um, health agent, is not included in the BOH uh, board email. Oh, I, 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 well, I didn't mean to send that to the board of health. I you meant that to send it to Delshawn. Well, I forwarded to her, and I thought that was what might have happened. That's why no. I'm letting you know. I couldn't, find, I couldn't find anything that said Delshawn. So I said, oh, this has got to be her board of health, generic. I didn't think yeah. it would go to the board. Yeah, it went to the board and not her, but I forwarded it to her. No, it's all, I, I, I talked to her yesterday. I apologize. I didn't know. Yeah, I told her that's probably what happened. Yeah. Um, so we don't know what they're doing. No, we don't know what they're doing. We don't know what Pac and I was doing. So. Okay, so. They're on hold. We don't know. We don't know about septic. And but you're going to, I just gave you Pac and Howard, right? Yeah. All right. 91 Josh Gray Road, you were going to follow up on that. Do you remember? Yep. You still on your pending? Don't. No, they have enough. I got back from it. Okay. Um, Street, uh, you got, gave you the report. Uh, three to four manhole pass. Still on hold. One more test to go. Pat will advise. Good luck to Pat. Um, what, who, I was just talking to somebody about that. Oh, Mike Coley came down, and he did apply for a license. Oh, okay, good. All right. He said something interesting that I think maybe we should follow up on, but I think it would be inappropriate for me to. 
but if he spends his time fixing items that have been repaired by other people, we should probably sure. touch base with him and cross match that to our drain layer list and see if we are are licensing and recommending drain layers that are doing a disservice work. to our res residents. I think we should. I think we should follow up on that. That's a good point. Right. So I think it would be more appropriate if, if maybe you did that with yeah, Mike. Yeah, I'll call Mike. That's a good point. I just don't, you know, if we're going to be licensing people and putting them out there, I think we should, we're doing a disservice to residents if we don't check that a little bit further. And I don't think it really puts anybody on the spot. I mean, it is no. what it is if you happen to redo work. No, I'm giving you a call. I'll probably see him tomorrow morning down the crop shop anyway. All right, so the generator specs are going to be covered in phase one of the upgrade. Just right, generator spec is. Um, Can I take this out of here then? Yep. That's all the generators. That's all generators. Yep, that whole thing again. All right, I think that's all I have. And I want to just say um, one other thing. So the middle office um, in the old section of the plant, mm. so Veolia has been cleaning that up. They cleaned it out. They're painting it. We ordered furniture for the new person. I spoke to Rick. They have so we're going to have a part-time person. They have the town computer and another computer where occasionally they stop by. And that's their workstation where they print reports and stuff. So I talked to Rick and he ordered the same furniture so the room should look nice when it's all painted and done. Also, we have historic documentation in there in that room, and I don't really want to store it away somewhere and then we have to go dig it out when we need it. So. It's on shelving on the wall, so they painted all of that to match and blend right in with the wall. And honestly, some of the filing is so haphazard because the binders are falling apart. I wanted to purchase new binders and make that look okay. better. Absolutely. And, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Absolutely. I, wish there was, I wish there was another place we could put that. Well, store that. there's not Just a lot of places, and honestly, like I store yeah. a lot of records, and when you have to go back and pull them out of boxes and stuff, it's such mm -hmm. a pain. No. And right now, you can just take the binder and you find it. Do it, yeah. but you know what? That's good food for thought for the upgrade. You want to create another room because mm -hmm. they're going to be refurbishing this building too. Right. Like a, a documentation filing yeah. room because right. we have to keep documentation for so long for the yeah. state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because you know that's things we should be thinking of should be all scanned in on, uh, you know, on uh, CD or, or thumb drives and files somewhere. So they are going to be doing this, this building over, yeah. so have a, have yeah. a separate doc, long-term documentation. Mm -hmm. So we have an old lab room that we share with Veolia, and um, Chuck on their staff built some shelving in there. It looks like things could be shoveled around and maybe some more shelving could be added, but it's something that we'd have to talk to Rick about. All right. Because we could probably get a lot more efficiency in that space for records. All right. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention that. Live here. Because the, this is new. This yeah. is, and so they put the new lab. So what they do with the old, it's like storage. We have yeah. supplies and yeah. records. Yeah. Glad you said lab. I can talk to Rick on PFAS. Right, the new thing that came in today. So I, so we got this PFAS documentation, which I forwarded to all of you. It came from the EPA and it had a signature stamp on it. So once you open it, they mm -hmm. know you opened it. Yep. But I can't see who got it. That's why I sent it. So I sent it to all of you. I sent it to Chris mm -hmm. Kenny. Everybody who was on the list that Chris Kenny sent out when he just sent in our EPA report. Yep. I went there, grabbed all that, and then I forwarded it. That way everyone has it. Yep. What you should do is, if you would, send the copy to uh, Kevin Olson. That right Pierce. And John A. Ott, Veolia, because that will have to be included in the November submission to the EPA. 
I did include Rick Katouche, and I'm not sure if I Yeah, but that. I think definitely John, because that's going to have to, and that's why I said Kevin, that's going to have to go into the November submission. Is there somebody else, like Paul Rudd or something, that, you know, the email that we get to pay project management hours? It's no. usually John Iot and Paul something. No, that that's, Paul works for John. No. So should we include him or no? No. Just send it to Just John. Just John. John handles the submissions. Okay, so Kevin Olson at Ray Pierce. And John A. Lott. Okay. Because I went to a seminar as well a couple weeks ago, and they're going to be um, definitely intensifying the uh, PFAS testing, they think, by the end of next year. So I don't know if I was going to impact them in that. So my feeling is that PFAS is going to leach into through I and I as well. Oh, absolutely. From the ground. Right? Absolutely. Okay. No doubt about it. So even if we pinpoint, like so through the IPP program, if we pinpoint a company that might be giving us PFAS. Doesn't make a difference. I mean, we can't hang it all on them if nope. we're going to get it through I and nope. I. No, okay. you're going to get it through I and I. Because just think, for example, at some point, um, any of our connections that are proximity to the base, we have I and I in it. It's going to get in there from the base. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So when we do the SSES studies and we locate all this I and I, is any consideration going to they be probably, to testing, they don't now, and I testing think, the ground there for No, PFAS? because what you're going to have to do is that would open up a Pandora's box that they're going to do groundwater sampling. Right, but I'm thinking you want to prioritize heavy I and I and also PFAS I and I. At well, some point, right? I just don't want to get into sampling that, unless they tell us. But yeah, it's going to get into the, the but, system, but they haven't really even have a, a good um, protocol for sampling of that yet. Don't you think they're going to get there, though? Oh, I think they're going to get oh, there, right. but why? Right, no, no sense rushing it, but they are yeah. going to get oh, there. Oh, they're going to get there. All right, well, maybe we'll be ahead of them. We'll and I think that I... that's what, what this was leading to. They're going to be coming out with a, a, a protocol, and it's just like a heads up, it's going to be... It's not going to be taken lightly. Right. They're cracking down on it. Now I'm wondering, okay, what what's it going to mean to impact them the testing? But it's definitely going to get in high and high. It's in now. Yeah. Especially well, anything that's in proximity to the base, it's going to get in there. How do we? Are we? How are we going to ramp up our I and I? We were talking about that just as now with the. Um, we may be looking at municipal fees because we have two or three hundred thousand dollars of I and I for next year, right? That three hundred thousand dollars is going to go like that because this metering that's going to just give us generic areas of town to say, hey, you have a lot of I and I over here and over here. Once they identify those areas, now we're going to take that two hundred, that three hundred thousand dollars of I and I to do another exam to pinpoint the sources. When you say municipal fees, you mean charging municipal buildings for sewer? Yep. yep. You know that we don't pay taxes on this building either, and that's four hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I know. It's going to open up a huge can of worms and make. No, no. Uh, th listen, it, uh, Robin. This all this is is well, I'm talking to him about a discussion on help us out here. I don't want to go to municipal fees. If what what, can, what I want to do is give them enough. Can you give us five hundred thousand dollars a year somewhere so we get a jump on I and I? Right, but I'm just playing devil's advocate. Where are they getting five hundred thousand dollars? Oh, I know yeah. that they're going to have to tax our residents, and it's the same pool of money yeah, from my residents. Well, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Out. How am I going to get more? I can't take more users on right now. Right, they, our numbers are there. Right, but we get a lot of free things. We get free water. We get free taxes. If we start like uh, this, is what I envision. Ta our, our accounting department and all of our other little departments all having more work because now we're all paying each other for stuff, and it's the same pool of right. money comes well, to the we're same reaching, spot. We're reaching. We're reaching. Where can we get? I've already told. They can't give us any more money. Okay, now we're exploring grants and everything. Right. Well, they did give us a lot of the ARPA money. Yeah. Right. But we, we sure. still need more. I need. We need. What we say? Four million. Four million mm -hmm. more just to get the I put I. a dent in the I and I. Think of this, we spent $800,000, okay. and we're lucky if we're going to get $112,000. You gallons. know, if, so if you have $4 million more, 
you could free up a lot of this I and I and, and let more projects in. So why wouldn't you look at what was the Park and Howard putting it on the table, right? If you let them cut the line, you're not really penalizing the people in the line. You're actually helping them because now you have the funds, you recoup the All I right, and I, but, and okay, that, keep going. That, now that moves forward All a right. lot quicker. But to allow them to come in, I have to have the capacity now that to let it. them in, or I'm not getting ahead. Right, unless... You bring that to the EPA and get permission to let them move it. Oh, ahead. if the EPA gives me permission to do it, do yeah. You, is that in the pipeline to they, ask they, them for they, that? Yeah, but they yeah. won't. I guarantee you won't. Well, you can't really speak for them. They I know might. that, but I, I would love to speak, and I'll bring that up. Yeah, because it, next day I'll bring that it up doesn't forward. really penalize the people who are already in line. It gets everybody moving forward faster. Okay. And not here, only here, okay, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Okay, no, hold it, hold it. There is a 16-ounce cup right there, right? Now, you're saying... All right, let me put 10,000 more in there, but if it overflows, I'm going to find you, and that's what they're doing. Right, but here, there's more to the argument. If you use Park and Howard, that generates funds for this, the town, and then you could have the conversation that you just mentioned where you need more money from the town. You could tap into maybe some of that, talk to Doug and, and the uh, board of selectmen and say, listen, if we let that project go through, it generates funds for the town, we're thinking about charging oh, if they were municipal offset, if, buildings if for they services. Would, and that's what we, we talked about having well, Doug and Mike in here. Right, but you could waive that and not charge the other municipal buildings because I really don't see how that's that. What we, that's what we just said. But we, you could collect some of the fees that Parking House is going to generate. Let just pass his hands. I have to, you have to have the capacity to let them in. If we let them in, yes, all these others. That is the conversation we're going to have with Doug and Mike. We're, we want to invite them right. to a meeting. So remember the conversation that they were asking, is any type of project get priority over another type of project? In my mind, right. the Park and Howard, if it generates money for the town, it should get prioritized. It doesn't penalize anyone behind them. It generates that money for the town that you might be able to get a percentage of that money for the town kicked back for even more I&I &I removal. That yes, sure. I'll come back then. To the sewer department. No, it, it doesn't you're matter right. That comes to you're the right, department. but we have to have one. We have to have the EPA buy in. We have to have the town buy in. Right. Yeah. Right. I can't tell a developer. Yeah, you're ahead. No, no. I'm not saying jump mm. the gun with the developer. I'm saying get on board with the EPA and get the ball rolling. Right. And we have already said we said today. I'm trying to line up a meeting with Doug and Mike. Say, look, we don't want to go municipal fees. Right. Here's one of the things that we have. Can you give us money? No. Okay, then how do we open up other avenues for funding for I&I? &I? Do we even know what the municipal fees are for like town hall and all that? It's probably nothing and we're and they're, oh, I can get, and I, waving, I know what the schools are. And they're waving $400,000 worth of taxes. I can, I can I give you what the schools are. Schools are probably right. close to... Is any of it going to reach the level of four hundred thousand dollars? We might schools. Would. It might cost us more money than what we would if, gain. If the metering is is coming in, if the flows are coming in from the school, that I think it will. Yeah, it will. Do you ever check the flows? You can. Well, that's what I'm going to have it right here to talk to uh, Rick and. Uh, I should have been here earlier. And Gary. So <laughs> Rick and yeah. Gary, that uh, I want to pop some Rick of the manholes. Rick and Gary aren't going to know what. No, I want them to pop some of the manholes so I can see some of the flow that's going through there. All you have to do is call Crystal. And get the flow from their accounts. We're not I'm not talking about water. the flows. I'm talking about I want to see what's coming through the pipes. Right, but their water meter is what we bill on. Right. And if you get their water meter reading, we can calculate what the bills would be and how much we would receive. Okay, that. Yeah, but I also want buildings. to see what the flow is coming through the sewer pipes yep. for the I and I. That's where I think we're getting killed down here. Right, but you can't treat a municipal account different than any other account and no. charge them for I&I. &I. No, but I could charge them my fees if it's coming off of there. Look, this is opening up a whole huge discussion. I, I, I think that would create an issue where you, you're targeting municipal buildings for I&I &I when there's other companies and residents who are contributing to I&I &I well. We don't want to. This is why I'm asking Doug and Mike to come to a meeting and say, look, here's where we are. We don't have enough money to fight I and I. I'm laying it all on the table. Right. That's so, what we're having. Exactly. Money. But what I'm saying to you is if you want to get a true value on what we're missing out on by charging the schools and the municipal buildings, you need to get the meter readings, the history from the water department and calculate it out. We might be not charging them 100000 and that maybe that's all you're going to gain. 
by charging them. But then they're going to turn around and say, well, you can pay taxes on the building. Now we're 300000 in the hole because that well, bill's 400000 Look, right now we're reaching for fees. We're looking for grants. We're looking for funding. This is just a discussion. I'm not saying we want to do it. It's just an option. Mm. It's an option. We have to have that discussion. What are, why is having that discussion? Right. Crystal told me. So then she probably already has the yeah, reads. So it's just, yeah. What do we do for more money? Yeah. I just think you should do a little legwork up front before you have the discussion just to make sure if they all agree, we right. don't end up in a hole. Well, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm open to any ideas to get more money right now. Mm -hmm. But I really, I'm not like, like crossing everything, hoping that if you could prioritize those projects and get like the Park and Howard and the Holy Family in the front of the line and get that money. If I could get the DEP, if the EPA to buy in, that they're not going to nail us with a fine because I'm going, all they look at, all they care about it's is slow. what you're discharging. Right. And I'm discharging all of them. Great I job. don't, we don't have any room. Yeah, 1.98. That's okay, that's for today. Right. Because we haven't got any rain. Right, right but what about the I and I removal project that's out there now? What are yeah, we getting okay. from that? So, okay. What we're getting out of the I and I project. Right now, just what we have already approved by the EPA, I've got to remove, we have to remove three hundred thousand gallons of I and I. Okay? That's just what we already have approved. Yeah. The waiting list. Yeah. All we are removing from the I and I work that's ongoing is if we're lucky, 112,000 gallons, which means I'm still 200,000 gallons in the hole from what we have approved. Okay, and so what you're saying is we don't have the funding to remove that other 200,000? No. No, we do not. But we know where it is. No, we do not. Why don't we know where it is? It wasn't in the SSES study? No, out of the SSES study that they identified all we're going to get out of that right now is 112,000 gallons. Oh, so we have to start the cycle again and do an SSES study. Hold it, hold it. That, that's what the one-year metering program is doing, is basically trying, instead of doing our an SSES oh. study. So our control okay. plan is okay. a 15-year, okay. oh. five-year cycles. Right. right. So, so find the five-year cycle. Identify it, fix it. So instead of doing the SSES it. study, which was recommended to do every five years, yes. you're going to do the I'm monitoring. I'm jumping the gun control. now. So you're doing the monitoring. I'm doing the monitoring to identify other areas in town that have significant I and I contribu contribution. So I have a question. How does that differ from the SSES study and actually identifying it in gallons of what you would get back? That's what the, the SSES study took. A section of town, right, and went through there. Yeah. Okay. We took that same section of town, and they said it's cost effective. You're only going to get 112,000 gallons. We're spending 800,000 to get that 112,000 gallons. That's where the six dollars and sixty-one cents right. comes in. Right. Right. Okay. That's what that SSES study's done. So what we said, okay, let's break it up into 15 sections in town, put 15 meters up there, trying to find out what sections of town have the high hitters. Instead of, they didn't go do this to pick out for the SSC study. They go, okay, where have we gone to town before? Now we're going to say, okay, where are the high hitters for high flow? Once they tell us, then we hopefully have enough money to go into that area and say, okay, here's where your I and I heavy hitters are in that big section. Then hopefully we have grant money to get that. Okay, but year, so the year one monitoring uh, will identify those areas of I and I. Right, that's paid for. It, it's quicker than doing an SSES study and it's less expensive? Basically, yeah. Okay, so where does the revolving I and I account come into play? If they can identify stuff quickly, they, they can identify. SSES study is finite. It gives you sources. It says this pipe is going to leak. All the metering is going to do is say this section of town. If they take that down, divide it in four, you have four meters A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. Okay, area C, they say, is your high header. It's not going to tell you what part of area C 
is your high hitter. You're going to want to find that. Right, but an SSES study quantifies the gallons that you're going to get back. Right. Does the monitoring? No, it's going to identify the areas that so have the heavy hitters. How are we going to quantify what we get back if we go after those areas identified by the year one monitoring? You have to go in with another fine a camera, like a, like a mini SSES. So the next okay. year's. Okay. So That's the next year. Okay. So you get the flows from this year, you identify a target, you clean up the I&I, &I and then you do another flow, and that's how you quantify yes, it? Yes, well, you Okay. Have. So if that's quicker than the whole SSES study cycle, we have money in the I&I &I revolving fund that we could use to go after that. Beyond the, the this shift is your account. You can tell me. Correct. So we have, have $300,000. Right. 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 So, so $800,000. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, that, that metering project that's paid for, out of that $300,000, we have to pay another engineering firm to locate those sources. That's, that $300,000 is going to pay for that. It's not going to pay for the repair. Right, so it won't that's pay the, for the remediation. The it would get the money from developers to pay for the remediation. Right, but do you have the but, capacity right, to yeah. allow them in? Right, so... You that's where your conversation to... comes in with the EPA. Say, look, we've right. identified it. But now, you bring in the North River Watershed Association, the aid station, you cannot discharge more than 2.5 million gallons. We don't care how many developers you let in. Right, but that, that's kind of like an aside argument to this. Well, not to them, it's not. That's well, what we're getting fine. But they're not even part of the equation right oh, now. Oh, not River, we're not, not we're EPA. Not, we're not trying so. to get more than 2.5. What we're trying to do is clean up what we have so we can get below 2.5. But in the meantime, you're going to be discharging more than 2.5. You're in violation. But we've been doing that. If we're going to get fined for it, well, yeah. Well, we we we, we may or may not get fined. We've come it. to that line in the sand where we can't do that anymore. It's, it's Unless really, you have the conversation with the EPA and they allow yeah. it. They had the conversation, have that conversation with them in two thousand six. We have to we have to right walk and they now. and they took that money and did something else with it. Right, right or wrong? Well, hold it. Right or wrong? Okay. So I you're telling me? Hold it. They, 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 they're telling me the we took that money to help we keep the repairs going. No. Nope. We only spent the I and I money one time, and we had approval from the accounting department. The reason why the I and I removal didn't take place the way it should have is, and you guys all know this from revisiting all the pricing this year, we never collected enough money. Okay. We never charged enough money to actually do the. Okay. I &I well, now we are. But so, okay, but now, but now we, we are. But now you're still discharging more than you're allowed. That's but, all they care right, about. But that was 15 or 16 years ago. We're doing it right now. We're doing money. it today. But now we're collecting enough money, right? But we can't actually collect the money unless we let one of the developers in. So to so let them in. We can't let them in. Right, so until you have, you can't let, let them in until you have the capacity to let them in. The conversation with the EPA is, historically, I know we haven't removed the I&I. &I. We had a very flawed pricing system, which we've now corrected, and we'd like to move forward. We have this problem. We need to be able to, and I would highlight that, Park and Howard, because it brings my. All right, you know, I don't care. I don't. Want, that's how I share a mill if you want. All right, that's even right, more money. Right, but hold it, hold it. They're gonna say, "Great, do what you got to do, but don't break that 2.5." I, I don't know and if I'm they're going to say that. Okay, I, let I me just, have the conversation. Let's have the conversation yeah. with them in general. But you know what? I think, to me, pushing the EPA at this point after what. Transpired. We didn't know well, what we said we'd do. I don't think you have to push at them. I think what you have to do is say, this is what we're thinking, and we need maybe your advice on this. All right. And, uh, let's have that, but let's let's have a game plan in place first. We don't exactly. have that. Exactly. Are you going to write up a game plan? We, we have. We're, the, we're the trying board, to right now, Robin. Like, what do you think we're doing? Like Sitting on our thumbs? The board no. would like to be able to demonstrate to the EPA that we have, in fact, removed this I. Oh, with I. It. I yeah, I'm have, no, no, I'm trying to prove to them that we're doing it. That we really, have a plan in here's place. Here's the other thing we would And face. that we've already started to execute it. Because They're, they have heard stories from us Rockland before. Rockland and the back. Right, exactly. okay. action But here's the other thing. I've got to August of 25 to have that phosphorus system up and running. Right. So I'm going to say, I'm going to process you, I'm going to have that, I'm going to promise I'll do this. No, They're going to want to see some results. Yeah. Right, but, so. and I, I understand that, and I understand that approach that you just explained. I totally agree with that. That's what we're trying I to do. Just, um, 
Just right, click it on. I'm not in every meeting. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I don't mean to ask. No, and it's good and that you question And I want you to do this, right? That's I don't mean to get I don't mean to get work beat up you, but that's what we're trying to do. But you know, I've got to do it in peace. But I've got to prove to them I'm walking the walk. And it's, right. it takes time. And I, and I think what you're doing now is gathering that proof. Yes. Yeah. We are. We and what I'm trying to are. do is I'm trying to say, look. Now we've had <coughs> we got a one. We went after the SSC study. Here's how we recovered. We have another one already in progress that we're paid for, so we could do the next step. We have the 300000 to do. That one in progress money. that we already paid for is the year one year flow one monitoring. Control. Right. Yes. So and we're year doing two that. is in the budget. So, you know, we've got... Now we're starting to build up the proof. Now, the other thing is, you know, we also have to go to them for another extension on the digester. Because yeah. we're going to miss it. We have is to that all... because of the gas and the yeah. lines yeah. and all that? See, all this thing, we have to go for exceptions for with them. I don't want to hit them with a whole bunch. The biggest one I'm, I'm holding up is that phosphorus. I, we don't stand a snowball's chance in hell on April of 2025. Is that even with a tertiary system? That is the tertiary system. Oh, that is the That's tertiary. supposed to be up and running. And why do we? Why is it a snowball's chance in hell? Because we got to pinpoint the exact source of the, the exact diagram of the system. You have to have it designed. Then you're going to go out to bid to get contractors. It's, that's only a year away. Yeah. We have to. We have, literally have to break ground by the end of next year. I don't see how it's possible. We don't even have the designs down. But oh, we have the funds for the design and all that, right? We have the funds for the design, yes. It was approved. But all that takes time. The way these contractors work, we'll all be dead by the time they get We have to, we do, honestly, I think we've got a sound game plan to go to the EPA. But what I want to do is prove to them, I don't want to go to them with just words. Yeah, yeah. So we because if I if I don't, if I go to them with words, time. they're going to say, yeah, I heard that before. But if I'm building up a track record, I can yes. show them we're doing it. We're physically doing it. Apparently, I'm playing the role of keeping you on your toes today. No, <laughs> and you know what? Now, and listen, I want you to keep doing it. I don't mean to get snippy, but I'm beating myself 15 ways to Sunday think yeah. of this shit. You know, yeah. and I can just say, yeah, here's what I'm going to do now, and this and that. And if we don't prove to them, what good are words? Right. I understand. Well, you don't. You're just saying to shut me up now. No, I don't. I understand. Sherry was very eloquent. You didn't hear her because you were still way up here for a second. I'm done. I'll take a motion at today's meeting. <laughs> I said I'll take a motion at today's meeting. We're not going to take a motion. We're going to let it go. No, no, no. I'm good. I, I'm so happy. I, I understand it now. these windows. Oh, Listen, the window Mark, for now. you missed the discussion. I wanted to just replace all the pipes in the street in town. Just, just do them all. And she said, just go back and go, yeah, sure. And how much is that? Like 50 million? Uh, yeah. yeah. Robin, I don't mean to cut you Way off. More. No, 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 I, I get, don't worry. I, get, I, get, no, I, no, I do worry because good. I don't want you to feel like I'm, I'm biting your head off. I'm, I'm, you I know rest, me, right? I'm going to still ask questions. Yeah, so I want you to. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I, I want understand. you to because, oh, listen, I'm wrestling 15 ways to Sunday to figure it out. But yeah. if I was in the EPA shoes, I'm trying to put myself in their position, okay? I have no problem you saying promise to me all these things. Show me some results. Exactly. And So you, know, you want to it, present what we talked about, but you want to prove. But I want to say, look, I'm, I'm doing, doing, I'm doing done, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We, have done, we have done this, not yeah. we're going to. Yeah. In... in Opening, the, letting other developers in before we get anything done, just digs the hole deeper. Right. I mean, the guy from Park and Howell wanted to give us how many millions of dollars to right. get stuff done. He says, "Yeah, but you can't. You think you got six, seven million dollars?" But it just, it just makes our hole that much deeper to get out of. Yeah. Until we Listen, can. Listen, when we know. give you the six or seven million dollars up front and wait. Yeah, that, that's, that's it. Rough. <laughs> and I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll be there I'll take a motion in today's meeting I'll make a motion I'll second favor. I'll favor Mr. Ross yes Ms. Valley yes don't have to ask me that's the majority done but